Now since we have tracked the footage in After Effects and uh, brought the camera in 3ds Max, now we'll make some 3D elements here like uh, chunks of the boat uh, with the help of particle uh, flow. And then we'll make some smoke trails with the help of fume effects. Now the first thing we'll do is to remove the dummy because we have set the coordinate system perfectly so we don't need it anymore. Now to create chunks, first of all I select the line tool and then I make some random shapes. Something like this. This all will be uh, used as uh, chunks. Now select all the shapes and uh, apply the extrude modifier. A little bit of extrusion will do. This much is fine. Now with all the shapes selected, make them in a group. Rename the group as chunks, elements. Okay. Keep it aside. Now go to particle system and uh, drag a PF source icon on the viewport. Put it nearby the null object. Now rotate the icon in 180 degree so that it should uh, release the particles upwards. Now hit 6 or click on the particle view tab to open the particle view window. And here what we'll do, we'll stop the emission of the particle at 0 frame. An amount may be uh, 100 or 150. Fine. So this will look something like this. Now we can apply some force in the scene. So go to forces and uh, apply gravity first. We can apply drag also. Change the values for x, y and z as 10. Now insert the force operator in the event and add these two forces in the list. Now let's change some parameters. Decrease the strength of the gravity so that uh, the particles should go up and then fall down. And in the speed operator, give some variation and uh, uh, give some divergence also. So it will look something like this. Particles go up and then fall down. Keep changing the variation value and let's check uh, what kind of results it gives. Uh, after playing uh, with the parameters. Decrease the strength a bit too. It looks fine. You can play with the values of drag too. Keep changing the values and uh, check uh, which settings give you the best result. It looks fine. Now go to display and uh, change the type as geometry. And see how does it look like. But there is no rotation or spin in the chunks.
So insert a spin operator. And now all the chunks spin. Go to shape and uh, decrease the size of the chunks. It looks something like this now. But we don't want uh, this shape, uh, so override the shape with shape instance and uh, click on none and select the chunks elements. Turn on group members and object and children options. Decrease the scale percentage to make the chunks smaller. You can enhance the spin uh, rate quite high. For now, turn off the background so that we could uh, focus on the chunks only and let's see it in a perspective view so that uh, it couldn't distract us decrease the spin rate something like this you can give some variation also And even uh, in speed, we can give some variation. We can play with the drag values too. Or a check uh, which settings give you the perfect result. Now, check it in uh, the camera view. Play with the strength value of the gravity. There are so many things we can do here. So I think it's good for now. Now it's time to apply some uh, textures to the chunks. Actually, I won't apply any special texture. But I will apply a simple color to the chunks. That's fine. And uh, in shape and stance, we can give some uh, variation so that uh, some chunks are bigger and some are smaller, something like this. Decrease the length and width of the icon to fit inside the boat. Go to speed and uh, give some more divergence. It looks like this. Maybe the color should be more darker. Or you can apply some lights in the scene too, if you wish. But I won't do it here because I have already rendered the frames. To render the frames, go to rendering, render setup, select the range from 0 to 100, choose the dimension of the frame and then save the file in TGA.32 bits format or maybe in PNG or TIFF, whichever stores alpha channel. So in the next video, we will see how to make smoke trails in 3ds Max with the help of Fume FX.